Welcome to the Eric Abbasar Show. The biggest rivalry in English football was marred by horrendous officiating today and terrible decisions from VAR that robbed Liverpool of three points with Liverpool Football Club and Manchester United playing to a 1-1 draw at Old Trafford. The first shambolic decision from the disgrace that is Martin Atkinson was his refusal to call a foul that Divock Origi clearly suffered. He got kicked in the back of the leg. It led to a counterattack that ended in Marcus Rashford scoring. And it was just an awful decision. Atkinson got it wrong, and then VAR got it wrong. The second horrible decision in the first half was, of course, Sadio Mane's goal wrongly disallowed for handball. By the letter of the law, that was not a handball because the ball deflected directly off of Mane's body. Another terrible decision. Two goals that were wrongly awarded and disallowed, but it wasn't just the major decisions that were ridiculous. Hackinson's officiating the entire game was overtly biased in Manchester United's favor, calling soft fouls on Liverpool to put it mildly, allowing Manchester United players to take over 30 seconds to throw the ball in, over 45 seconds to kick goal kicks. And Liverpool, they couldn't get a foul to save their lives. So it was just truly, truly pathetic. Martin Atkinson today. He should absolutely be punished for horrendous officiating, but of course, that's not going to happen. In fact, it makes you wonder, is the Premier League going to do everything in its power to make sure that Manchester United does not get relegated because it is such a big club and so much TV revenue would be lost if the Red Devils were to drop to the championship? Adam Milana's goal, of course, was absolutely crucial to Liverpool rescuing a point and giving the Reds a six-point lead at the top of the table instead of five. But you just hate to see a game where the real story is the officiating. It wasn't the actual football. Jurgen Klopp was rightfully livid throughout the match and... Another major takeaway from this match is that Jeannie Wijnaldum, Jordan Henderson, and Fabinho is getting stale as a midfield combination. Credit to Manchester United for having a game plan of essentially nullifying Andy Robertson and Trent Alexander-Arnold in attack, forcing the midfield to make plays on their own. They didn't do it. The end product was not there, especially uh, in the final third. Jordan Henderson is on terrible form. You know, he is the captain of Liverpool, but he needs a break. Nabi Keita deserves a real run in the side. He picks out great passes. He can revolutionize this midfield. And now that he's fit, it's time to give him a go. Keita should absolutely start midweek in the Champions League against Gink. That is absolutely crucial because Liverpool need, absolutely need, three points in that match. So... The Reds' perfect EPL run is now over after winning eight consecutive games. Of course, Liverpool remains undefeated, the only invincible side in England. But Liverpool will certainly rue this game and will have to move on quickly as the Reds take on Gank in midweek and then Tottenham next weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.